Hi, my name's Todd Bradley. I've got an ear problem that's called superior semicircular canal dehiscence. Most people have never heard of it, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate the main problems I have. The first symptom is called autophony, which is literally self-sound. It means hearing sounds of things going on inside your head. In my case, my right ear picks up and amplifies the sound of my voice, breathing, pulse, and even my eyes moving back and forth. Here, let me demonstrate. Come join me inside my head. There. Now we'll start in a normal quiet room sitting at rest. The first thing you might notice is the sound of my heartbeat in my right ear. If you're listening to the sound from this video through speakers, you might want to put on headphones to really understand the effect. In addition to my heartbeat, there are other strange noises that happen throughout the day. I honestly don't know what causes those, but I'm guessing it's fluids moving around in the brain or something like that. Now the next thing I can hear in my head is the sound of my eyes moving back and forth. Watch and listen as I look right, and then left, and then right again. Hear the noise that makes? You may have also noticed that when I talk, my voice is much louder in the right ear than the left. When I speak quietly, like this, it's not too big of a deal. But when I talk more loudly, the voice is uncomfortably loud in the right side, and it distorts a bit. This makes it difficult to talk in a loud restaurant or shout. It also makes talking to a large group of people very tiring. Now, I'll just read out loud some random article from the newspaper, so I can demonstrate the difference between normal hearing and how I hear my voice. I'm going to talk for a little bit with the audio track as if I didn't have this problem. Then, I'll change it to demonstrate what it sounds like to have superior semicircular canal dehiscence. Forgiveness, other gifts, lie in our hearts. December 6 was my chance to hear motivational speaker Bonnie Starr discuss forgiveness at the Broomfield Library. But I was not prepared for the talk that followed. Okay, enough of that. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things. So far, I've just been sitting here in the living room at rest, but next I'm going to exercise and get my heart rate up. When this happens, there are two other things I want to demonstrate. First, the autophony symptoms get worse. You'll hear that my voice and my heartbeat are even louder in my right ear than they were before. Second, I get something called Tulio's phenomenon. What that means is my eyes sort of bounce to one side in time with my heartbeat. Once they bounce over, they do come right back, but if my heart is beating fast enough, it makes my eyes bounce back and forth a lot, and that makes it hard to really focus on something. So here, I'll demonstrate. First, I need to get my heart rate up. Okay, now my pulse rate's up, so come join me in my head again. First, listen for a moment. Now, where's that newspaper? Best gifts are of ourselves. Several years ago, I purchased a package of vanilla sandwich cookies that cost a dollar. I ate the first cookie, but the cookie didn't have much flavor. I kept eating, foolishly anticipating the taste would be in the next cookie. What a perfect analogy for us Americans. We keep consuming more stuff, hoping that more will bring our happiness. Now I'm going to just stare straight ahead at a fixed point. See how my vision bounces left and right in time with my pulse? Well, thanks for taking a journey inside my head with me. I hope it was informative and gave you a first-hand idea of some of what it's like to have superior semicircular canal dehiscence. I'm having surgery in a couple weeks to try to fix it, but that's a whole nother story.